up guys it'll be a pretty quick video but uh we're changing some sensors on this train chiller uh i've already replaced the evaporator leaving temp uh they're both out of whack by at least 10 degrees the leaving temp was off by like 40 3 to 90 degree water uh so here are our sensors i've already got this one pulled out this is the evaporator entering water we got our new sensor here ready to go. Can't unplug them first. We have to go into our control. Uh, LLID binding. We're gonna enter our super secret password. It's gonna update its data. see our evaporator leaving water is reading correctly now. It was reading 80 degrees just a short time ago. Once it updates the data, there we go. We're going to go through and find our sensor that we want. And we're going to go the entering water temperature sensor. I don't know how well this is coming across. We're just going to click unbind. You sure you want to unbind the sensor? Yes. Unbind successful. Okay. Now we can come over here, unplug our sensor. Plug the new sensor in. Back up to the top. We've got our evaporator sensor. See the red. Shit. Wrong button. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. I'm doing this one handed. Alright, so here we are. Back to our evaporator. Any water, we're going to go bind. And it's going to say activate them using a magnet. We're just going to use our handy dandy magnet on the back of this field piece here. Just swipe it across that sensor. We're going to hit OK. Find successful. So we should be able to go back to home. Um, entering water now is showing 77. That's probably about the temperature in here. Always want to use heat conductive compound. I've done a previous video on this on an older chiller uh, using TechView software. This makes it a little easier because you can do it all from the control. We're going to slide our sensor back up in there. get everything back in place and you want to leave your bar this metal bar is what the sensor actually mounts to so that sensor you can see it's got slots here on the back so that sensor will mount slide right on that bar and mount just like that so we'll get all that secure. Let's see what we're reading now. Showing about 30 degrees there. It may not be 100% correct, but uh, I'm reading about 40. So once I get some wits dropping, once I get some water flow, uh, this guy ought to be back up and running 100%. So quick video. Let me know what y'all think. Unbind, rebind. Pretty simple process. Uh, TechView software is free for the older chillers. You just plug into uh, the controller here. Uh, with these newer ones, you can do it right from the controller. So let me know what y'all think. Leave me a comment. See you guys on the next one.